How you doing everybody? This is um, the brand new Lincoln Power Meg 210 MP. I just got it. Um, it's a nice looking welder. Um, it's uh, got some features that um, Lincoln has not really specified on their videos on YouTube, um, which I feel, you know, they should have done a little bit more. So, um, I'm just going to go through this welder a little bit. This is my first YouTube video. Um, it's probably going to suck, but, you know, there's really no videos or there's limited information on this welder. And, you know, I've waited about six weeks to get this welder. Um, you know, I was excited. You know, it's an inverter type, you know, a MIG. I'm multi-process welder. I'm primarily using it for MIG welding is what I bought it for. I bought it because it's lightweight. Um, I do have a couple other MIG welders. Um, I purchased the Millermatic uh, 211. Um, it's a nice welder, but it's just way too heavy for portability. And, um, you know, I kind of try to want to find out, you know, with the inverter base welders, you know, how they were. And uh, so anyway, I'm going to go walk over here and fire this up. Um, the welder, um, you know, is on a, a Harbor Freight cart. Um, they're actually very good cart for the money. I highly recommend them. You go in there with your 20% coot off coupon. Um, it's well worth the money. So I'm just going to walk over here and uh, turn the welder on. Okay, we got our rocker switch here. Turn that on. Screen comes up. The fans are relatively quiet. Okay, there gives our readout. Um, let's go over here. We got our options. Um, there, uh, what we'll do is I'll press the home button and I'll set us for MIG uh, C25 gas or 7525. Um, so we'll do that. We'll set it up. 75 argon. Press the continue. Uh, right now we're using 025 wire. Um, so I'll hit that. Um, we'll set our thickness. Um, I do a lot of thin metal so we'll just leave it here for 14 gauge and it comes up with some basic parameters uh, which is nice um, and also here uh, what we got we can do our running wire feed speed we can set that up from 50% to uh, 100% um, we press to save that and we can go for our other options here we'll just clock this over it does have a spot timer on it there you can have on or off it runs from 0.5 seconds to 10 seconds that save and then press this again for our options. We have an induction setting. Um, it's from 1 to 10. It's a nice feature to have. Um, the running wire feed speed and the spot timer and the induction setting is nice to have. Um, Lincoln failed to really give us much information whether on their website or on their videos about that. And these are features um, that I like to have on, on a modern machine. So we'll just go back to here and um, so that um, the welder itself is very clean. It looks like it's put together very well. Um, I am having one problem uh, with the welder. I'm gonna take it back. I bought this welder at my local air gas um, and I'm gonna take it back to them and I'm gonna see what they say because I have other we MIG welders in the past. I use MIG welders at work. I've used a lot of MIG welders over the last 20 years and I know this is not right um, so Let's just uh, open up the wire feed is where I'm having the problem and I will show. Just kind of turn that there. Set the camera up here. Now I don't know how much you're going to be able to see this on camera, but we're going to do this. Okay, set that up. Just going to back off here a little bit on the zoom. 